We're gonna go see some performance arts. Oh, it looks comfortable. <laughs> um, so this is in three phases. Uh, it definitely is a representation of this year. Mm -hmm. um, the first phase here, the small, tall table, um, with you can see the little white cards in it. Um, what you would do if you were to go through the performance, you would take out one of those cards, mm -hmm. grab one of those short pencils in the middle, write a word or phrase that you want to leave behind in 2020. It could be an emotion, it could be an experience, it could be a feeling, a thought, it doesn't matter. Um, whatever you want to hold back in 2020, you don't want it to come into 2021 with you. Um, you write it on that card. Hmm. Um, after you've written it, you take get that other bell jar, you open the lid, put the card in there. When you close that second jar, uh, the lid is closed, it's sealed, whatever you put in there is in there, and uh, it won't, it's not going to 2020, it's, it's been put in there. And you take your pencil, you put it in the little drawer right there, that's more of a COVID thing, so we're not using, we're not using two, you know, people aren't sharing pencils, so you put your little pencil in the drawer. Um, and this is where you grab a rock, so this rock is um, symbolic of whatever item you just, you broke, and you, and you put down. Hello. Uh, in that jar, um, you know, it could be the weight of 2020. There's lots of different ways you can interpret it, but um, that rock is is a burden. It's something you don't want to take in into the year. Sorry. Oh, no. So about, uh, we stopped at the rock part. Yeah, so you grab a rock, right, and that rock is symbolic of, uh, we had some kids up here earlier, and I was like, oh, it's my wife. <laughs> nice. Uh, there we go. And uh, so that rock is like a burden. It's something, right, you need someone to do it. Awesome. Um, that you, you can't take it alone, you know, into the new year. You have to have, we have to have people, right? So we're not alone in this world. We have to have people to help carry our burdens. So you get that rock and you're placing it on somebody else. You're giving them that weight of that emotion, that fear, whatever it is you're leaving behind. And then Erica will physically, well, <laughs> carry that weight. And then symbolically, she's burying it. She's putting it behind. She's leaving it. You're carrying someone else. You're giving someone else your trust that you trust that they're going to help you, right? Um, 
walking across the rocks, right? You have to walk across those rocks to get to her. Super uneven, rocky surface, right? It's kind of 2020 itself. It's kind of hard to get through. Um, it's, it's a square. Intentionally, she designed it as a square, like it's a border. Uh, like, you know, we haven't been able to travel. We've been stuck in our homes, right? So it's this closed, confined space. And then the third phase, the last phase, the desk, um, you put one of those white uh, cloth uh, gloves on. There's cotton gloves over there. Mm -hmm. You put it on your dominant hand, so whatever hand you write with. Um, that's, of course, you know, white is pure, it's clean, it's new. That's what we always remember. But it's also equipping you, uh, preparing you for the new year. It's, it's giving you strength. You're suiting up. You're ready to go into 2021. Uh, you grab a pencil. There's a clean pencil over there on the right. Um, that notebook's already open. You're going to write your reflection of the year, whatever you want to get off your chest, off your, out of your head, onto paper, um, looking back from 2020 or even things you're looking forward to in 2021. It's up to you what you want to write on there. Um, no one reads it. You don't put your name on it. It's all anonymous. It's just for you to get it off your chest, out of your, out of your head. Whenever you're done, you turn the page, put the rock on top of your paper. You take that white glove off, put it in the bin right there, and then you exit the piece. So it's very much of taking time to reflect on the year and, and trying to process, you know, it's a lot to process in 2020. That's why we have three phases and not just one. So, sounds like a lot, but um, so I think you'll, you can tell kind of how people have done it. You can see kind of the steps that go into it.